Okay, so as we walk back, we have a farther distance to shoot. However, there's a thing called gap compromise, and gap compromise is as your arrow is going along that arc, it's fairly flat. So if you can get your speed up from, with my bow, from probably 15 to about 28, 30 yards, as long as I've got it lined up, my arrow will always be a few inches above or below. Now this spot is always the same. In front of this target, I had to keep the tip of the arrow about a foot in front of this target. In other words, it was in the dirt. It was on the ground. It was just under it. There was a gap between my point and this animal target. Now, it was always the same. When I was at 10 yards, it was the same spot. When I was at 15, it was the same spot. 20, 25, you know? It was the same spot. It hadn't reached that point where it started to drop yet. So I, even though the spot looks different, you know, when you're close, it's that far. But when you're far away, it's just a little tiny space, but it's the same spot. That's where you aim, okay? Don't be afraid to put the tip in the dirt, as they say. It does work. You have to have faith that it's going to work, and it will work. Anyhow, let's take a look at what we did. So, you know, it does work. I never had the tip of the arrow on that target, ever. It was always about a foot under it. And it worked at all those different distances. Okay, well, have fun shooting those English longbows, and take care.